Hi and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of how to calculate the kinetic energy of a moving object. Okay, let's clear this and enter new mass in grams and that is it. Then uh, let's say the speed is about five. Let's come down here, enter five in there, and we hit on kinetic energy that's what we get 162.5 joules there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit out and we start a new project there. exit all right let's click on create new project and right here make sure C sharp is selected click on next and let's give our project name. I'm going to call it CS underscore kinetic underscore energy. And click on create. All right, our development area is ready. The next thing is I'm going to go to tools right there. And let's select panel. Let's come right down. There we go. I'm going to need about three of those. Drag this that much and click on drag. And this will be the next one, will be for the buttons. Just about that. That is fine. Select it all, bring it down. Okay, I'm going to select it all. Let's go straight to the properties and let's change the border style to fix 3D. There. And while here, let me select the form, pin this down, and I'm going to just select. See where we have icon? Click on the icon. And there, that's my icon right there. And look at it. Now, Change the form name. I'm going to change that to kinetic energy calculator. There. All right, there. That's changed. Now, let's change the color of this to cadet blue. Select that background color or that color go to web and let's look for cadet blue and right there now let's add some buttons we need four three buttons actually not four okay and now let's wait, increase the, this button Hold on and copy that here. Select all of the buttons and change the back color to cadet blue. I can just type that in anyway. Cadet blue. There. Right. That is changed. Now let's change the font size to about 24 bold. There we go. Now, change this very button here to BTN exit. And this one. And let's change the text content to exit. This will be a reset. And that is BTN reset. And this is going to be BTN kinetic energy. There. And the text content will be kinetic energy. Right. That's fine. So we now need the text text box and labels have one label and we we have 
own text box now we need labels copy drag one up here and copy this and then I'm gonna copy this label here and one here right so let's increase the font size of all these labels to about 24 bold 24 bold right there and this very label I'm going to convert this to text box so let's come in here and go to auto size change that to false back color I'm going to change it to 17 light and border style I'm going to make that fixed 3D and let's get rid of the text content we have in here come right down here and get rid of that there now change the data in here I'm going to change that to mass in the ground there and I'm going to repeat the same thing for the others and rename every single component so but this text box is going to be known as txt max so let's put that up anyway and I'll get back to you guys all right this is how it's looking now but let's change this font color to something light repeat the same thing for all these buttons come right down here and change it to something a bit lighter right okay now let's double click on the energy itself and i'm going to declare two let's say three local variables so i'm going to say double the first one is going to be m m represent mass v represents velocity and I'm, the next one I'm going to say K -E. that represent the kinetic energy itself now M would like M to take in the value so first of all we have to convert it convert to dot to double And what are we converting? Whatever we have inside txt max dot text, and we we'll make sure we enter semicolon there. So let's repeat the same thing for the velocity. So I'm going to say v. Let's just copy all of this, paste that here, change this to v and velocity that's velocity dot text close that now we now need to add up everything so let's say ke equals ke that represents kinetic energy equals the formula for kinetic energy which is 0 0.5 multiply that by the mass and multiply that by v squared there we go and that's all there is to it there now i will now enter this straight into ldl energy dot text equals I'm gonna have to convert that back to spring dot convert to spring there we go and what are we converting to spring ke and that's it done if I run it that's it our our kinetic energy calculator is ready to be used let's see enter data in there another one here there we go look at that okay I'm going to if I enter anyhow item or character in there that will give me an error 
Okay, you see? So we have to take care of that. We have an error. So let's take care of that. All right, but before then, you see here, I'm going to enter Joe's there. So let's come in here and just say plus. Enter a speech mark. Joe's. And let's put that in a bracket. Right, that should take care of that. Now. I'm going to select these two components here and let's go straight to the properties here. And then I will select this event. Now, inside the event, I want the key press event. That is it. The key press event, I'm going to just give that a name. So let's call it number numbers only and press enter. So we with that selected, all I just need to do is let's say if if not character dot is control. Let's see is control. And enter a bracket. I will say e dot char itself, which is the character, and if not char dot is digit e dot character. Now that is char character char. Then we want this system to e dot handler or handled equals true. So that's we tell the system that we don't have the right value in there. There, that is it. Okay, so that is taken care of. If I run it, we won't be able to enter any any alphabet, alphabetic character in there. You see that, guys? You can see that here. Okay? So let's end, end that. So that is fine. That's taken care of. Now we now want to take care of reset. So reset txt mass equals dot text actually dot text equals reset txt velocity dot that's dot text equals there so let's see we need to end this here and end this as well okay velocity right let's see what happened i think that is correct oh it's in uppercase all right then okay change the v to uppercase v uh, c sharp is case sensitive so the next one is ldl energy dot text equals clear that's it all cleared now let's take care of this that is my exit with the exit I'm gonna declare a variable that I'll just call let's say dialog results and dialog result will say exit and exit Let's give it the following. Exit has the following message box dot show. And what do you want it to show? I want you to show the following argument. I want you to show the following argument. Confirm if you want to exit. So come down here and enter calibrators. Now 
I'm now gonna use a if statement before I'm gonna call it but is this really so let's say if I exit equals equals dialog results try that again dialog result double click on it dot yes and in that case we want application to get exit or to be exit application exit there that is it exit is taken care of as well so let's run it and see how that works there enter a value in here there we go we can clear or we can exit no we don't want to exit yes we do want to exit that is it so that's the lines of code for exit lines of code to clear lines of code to prevent end user from entering character alphabet value and the function that take care of the kinetic energy calculations so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and do please subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel we all have a nice day now and bye for now.